What's going on everybody? Today we're going to disassemble this Shimano Corrado 200K. We're gonna clean it, we're gonna do some maintenance on it, put it back together and make sure it all works. Let's go. All right, so you're not gonna need a whole lot to do this. Phillips head screwdriver, a 10 millimeter wrench, some drag grease, as well as something to apply it with, and some oil to start apart. First thing we're going to do is take apart the side here and we're gonna pop the spool out. We're just gonna open this door here where it says open. Here's our spool. I've already got some electrical tape on it and that's already out. Well, there's gonna be a bunch of small bits and pieces here so you wanna make sure you have some place to put those things. Okay, now that we got that out, I'm actually gonna close this just so it's a little bit easier to hold. I don't have to worry about hurting it. And the next thing that's come apart, good grief, look at how dirty this thing is. This is all your braid, this is frogging, this is fun stuff. So we're gonna take this Phillips head screw out of this little cap here. And what this little piece is, is making sure that this nut does not come off on you. So it's a retainer. Here's where we'll need the 10 millimeter. We're gonna pop this guy off. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. And we'll pop the handle off, put that aside. All right, the next piece here is our drag star. It actually just pops off here. However, uh, there's a spring under it, so don't lose that. We're gonna set that aside, but we do wanna use this drag star to take this nut off. You might be able to get it by hand, but it's easier just to set this guy back on here and go ahead and walk it off and walk it the rest of the way. Okay, remember this order. The nut, you see the res recess here, that is for the spring to sit in. That's coming off. We have this rash looking washer. And then these two washers are not flat. You see how they're kind of opposing each other? We're gonna take those off and put them back on so they look like that again when we're done. So we'll slide those off. There's another little brass copper washer here. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and take this off. This is our bearing uh, adjustment for our spool bearings. This particular piece really loves to cross thread when you put it back on. It's a super fine thread. So when you um, go back together, if you can't get your spool tight, you've cross threaded it, I guarantee it. Make sure you get that on right. It'll go on nice and easy, just like that. We've got some screws to deal with. So there's no visible fasteners around the outside. They're all gonna be kind of hidden. There's one here, there's one here, there's one there under the thumb bar. And then this guy here, you actually access by opening this back up again. Let's first pop this bearing out while we're here. That guy goes there. And that should be all the pieces coming out of that. So let's start with this one under the thumb bar. This one is different than all the others for sure. It's a real flat head on it. And it's a it's like going into plastic. So it's got a real coarse screw. Set that aside. We'll come around to number two. There should be four. Come on. This guy here. So this one's going to be hiding under here. Here. Okay. And this is where stuff can come apart. So I'm going to close this again and we're going to turn it up because there's going to be some springs and stuff in here that you don't really want to lose. There's this little opening here. You can pry on it if you so desire it, but you probably can walk it out kind of like what I'm doing here. We're going to push down on this drive here and pull up. And all that stuff will stay there. You want to leave this guy in here if you can. There's no reason to take that out. That's your anti-reverse bearing setup. We're going to set this whole assembly aside here. So what we're looking at is your ring gear, your ring gear drive, your pinion gear. And then you've got these two springs that you will definitely lose if you turn it over. We're going to kind of wiggle and take our ring gear off. Do not force it. Do not pry it. There's no need for any of that. It should walk off for you. Okay, now there is this washer here. There is a drag star, under, or a drag washer underneath. And then on the back side will be the other drag washer. So there's your two drag washers. We're gonna set all this stuff aside. We're gonna take this guy off too. This is what, this drive here is what kicks it back into gear when you turn the handle. So if you pull this down, when you turn the handle again, that's the function that kicks it back. All right, so we got that out of the way, but here's what we're looking at. So we have the pinion gear, we have the pinion gear bushing here. So we're gonna pull all of this straight out. This does come off if you need it to. That's a grease location there. We'll put the pinion gear aside. From there, that's about as far as we're gonna really take it down. There's another bearing behind here. 
that I think we're going to leave in there just because I don't really want to deal with all this today. We're going to leave it in there. We're going to put it in an ultrasonic cleaner. We're going to oil it before we put it back together. We are going to get to this guy though. So we're going to take these two out and we're going to get to the support bearing for this ring gear drive. Two Phillips screws. All this stuff is super tiny. Do not lose it and do not horse it. It's not in there very tight and it shouldn't go back in there very tight. Just tight enough. Now this should just walk out just like that. And there's our other bearing there. So you wanna make sure that, um, I don't wanna put this in the ultrasonic cleaner and not be able to oil this bearing. So we wanna make sure that we can get to it. He looks pretty happy. Just gonna kinda of give it a visual look over. See how all this stuff is going. But I think we are to the point where we're gonna dunk all of this into the ultrasonic cleaner. Okay, so this is our ultrasonic cleaner and uh, it has some purple power degreaser in it. Something that's real easy on this stuff. We don't want to get too crazy with it. Nothing real caustic. Um, we're going to go ahead and drop the body in there. We're going to go ahead and put this drive in there. Part of the body in there. Ring gear. We can put the drag star in there. Why not? We can put the ring gear in there. But we will need to take out the drag washer first. We don't want to run that through there. Okay, that guy will go in there. That's really it as far as the dirty stuff. We can go ahead and throw this handle in there. These are bushed, so you don't have to really worry about it. Okay, so we are going to uh, run this for a few minutes. We'll come back. All right, so it's been a few minutes. We're gonna pull our bits out of here. I did a little bit of scrubbing on it while I was running there with the uh, one of these Q-tips, but it is squeaky clean. Like all of that braid madness junk is off. All right, so we have everything cleaned up and we are going to start to put stuff back together just a little bit. So let me get my camera moved and we'll go back together. All right, so we're gonna start going back together. This thing is in pretty good shape now. We could probably clean it just a little bit more, but we got it mostly dried off. That stuff's not gonna really hurt anything if you leave any in there, but First things first is we're going to uh, apply some oil to this guy. Just a little dab. Just like two drops. And let that work in just a little bit so it's not dry. Without any drama. Boom. Just like that. Again, don't force this stuff. It's not going the way you thought it would. So just be easy. We've got these two little screws. These are like the tiniest screws we've taken out so far. Here's a little trick for you. Kind of struggling getting the screw in. I'm gonna just dab my screwdriver in this grease. And that grease is gonna hold it on there for me while I line it up. Look at that. So this little drive here is what runs your level one. We are going to make sure our level one is clean. It looks like it can need a little extra love. We are going to put a little bit of grease on these plastic gears here and then actually a little bit of oil on the level one system itself just like two drops nothing crazy and then work it in so it's nice and happy we do need to oil this bearing here since we put it through the cleaner that's a super important one that supports your pinion bearing uh, next we're going to reinstall the pinion uh, we are going to put a little bit of grease on this kind of bearing surface that's here. All right, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide this back on the pinion gear like so and put them all in together like this. And that should be right. Yep, see how it falls in? You want it flush with that white piece. Pinion feels good, bearings lubed, bearings lubed. That's looking pretty good. He goes in here. Like I said, this kicks you back out of, uh, we're going to put a little dab of grease on that so when this kicks it back out, out of free spool, it's got a little grease to run on that. Um, this is our drag washer, light coat of grease on both sides of it. And definitely do not too, want too much, more is not better. Next comes our ring gear, slide him on. We're going to put a little dab of grease on these guys, I mean real light, just enough to Make sure they're not running dry, but we don't want to have it be a dirt magnet either. Okay, from there we have our other drag washer. We'll put a little 
coat of grease on it. That goes in there. So there's a recess here. You want the high point facing out. So it's gonna look like that, with the high spot out. Okay, now everything is back in here except for the two springs that you probably forgot about. Go back on these studs. Now we're gonna go ahead and put this back on. We're gonna push this guy out just a, ever so slightly. And um, make sure she's lined up. And then we're gonna put all this together super carefully not to tear up that roller bearing that's in there. Okay, now let's just get it sealed up by hand. Make sure it's fitting. And you should have in a reverse right now. We're gonna start putting our screws back in. Do not cross there, do not over tighten. Okay, how do we make sure we're lined up? This flat screw goes behind the thumb bar. And the last one here is hiding in here. And that is our silver screw. Okay, moving right along. Um, I just, we can go ahead and throw the spool in. No special magic there button it up. If you can't get this to close, then you've tightened this too much. You need to back it off. So now is a good time to go ahead and put a little bit of tension back in it. It's kind of like bleeding your brakes. When you take this all the way off, you kind of want to pump your brakes again before you start going again. Okay, so I've lost my inner reverse. See how it's spinning backwards? That's because I've let this fall back out. So I'm going to kind of lightly push down on that until she finds home. There it is. That went down, so now I got my interverse. So here's where the order of operations makes sense here. So the bearing's gonna have a copper washer on each side of it. Brass washer, I don't know what they are, but and get it down there. Bearing. See how it goes in there flush? It is flush. Another washer. And now are these two opposing? These were opposing in my setup, so we're gonna set them back up the same way. And then this guy, then our, make sure the ring is looking at you, spring, drag start. This is going to take three hands to do, just a, just a little bit here. Okay, so I'm going to kind of hold this down while I put the handle back on, keep it from launching into orbit. Then our nut, barely snug it. And then make sure this is going to line up somewhere. And that nut is just to keep it from falling off. It's not holding anything together. We have a reel here. Make sure everything works. Drag's working. Brake bar is working. It's moving good. And uh, let's go fishing. That's gonna do it for us on that. Hopefully you got your reel back together and it's working. If not, watch the video again. Uh, if you like what you see in this video, please leave a like on the video below and consider subscribing to the channel. We'll see you next time.